What is good YouTube? Whilst you here with a video on Arrow season six. So if you remember back a while back, Stephen Mel said this in a tweet. If we are lucky enough to go to season six, I'll show up the first day looking like this. Obviously the goatee version of Green Arrow. Who is the real version? So this has led me to believe that Stephen and Mel actually knew they were getting season six before it was officially announced. So I think the fact that he's kind of shared the original post on his verified Twitter account, which is at Stephen Amell with a little blue tick, that he's shared the original post that I think he posted back in 2016 at the start. The date is at the end of this picture, but I can't quite remember exactly what the date is. But the only thing this leads me to believe is, did he subconsciously tell us that this is the look that he will be adopting within well, Arrow season six. So that's very interesting. If you remember, I put an image here in some of the comics, he's got the goatee style. So it would be pretty awesome to kind of go with the goatee style of the Green Arrow. And Stephen Amell doesn't usually lie to his fans, although he did lie to us about Arrow season four, but he's the head runner. He can't say that season four was going to be complete shit because he's the main star and it wouldn't look very good and he's got contractual contractual obligations to promote whatever kind of project he's with he's got to promote arrow in positive ways so it wouldn't make any sense so guys let me know down below are you looking forward to seeing a green arrow goatee version of Stephen amell of the oliver queen so are we going to be getting more of green arrow next season rather than arrow because thus far we've had Arrow. So does this mean that next season we'll be following more of the Green Arrow storylines rather than the Arrow? Yes, Green Arrow and Arrow are the same person, but the goatee version and the kind of version that we've had are kind of different if my kind of thoughts are correct. So the next kind of information I want to go over is this thing that um, that has come across my feed quite a lot. It's to do with Kryptonite and Stephen Amell. So during the Fortnite crossover, as soon as Arrow met Supergirl, I said to my partner that seeing as Arrow is essentially Batman of the Arrowverse, that he will be making a kryptonite ring. So it's kind of interesting that during a expo, a question was brought up to him and he responded like, I think Oliver, Oliver has definitely researched kryptonite for sure. Like kryptonite, how do I take away his super speed i might need to waste these guys at some point i'm going to have to bag them off or something on the lines i'll put a picture over the top of this if i can find one but it's quite interesting so this leads me to believe that they're going to be having some kind of kryptonite storyline within arrow season six potentially um or are they actually finally going to turn arrow into batman because arrow is essentially batman he's a detective he's got all these little gadgets um, he's a great fighter, kind of has had a link with Raza, Raza Al Ghul. Um, or does this mean they're actually going to be introducing Batman to Arrow? I know it's kind of hard, weird to make the connection that they're going to introduce Batman to Arrow due, due to him researching Kryptonite. But seen as kind of Batman's had Kryptonite in the past and he had it during his Batman vs Superman, Batman knows about kryptonite, so maybe when he was researching it, he came across Bruce Wayne. Um, if you read the comics, you know that Batman has kryptonite before. Personally, I think that that kind of Green Arrow is the Batman of the Arrowverse, or at least he's the closest thing to Batman we're ever going to get. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Batman, but. Now that I'm playing the Batman Arkham games, I'm coming around to the idea that Batman's actually kind of cool. So, yeah, me and my partner were talking about the kind of the interesting point of if they introduce Kryptonite into Arrow, seeing as Stephen and Mel, of not, not sorry, not Stephen Mel, Arrow, it was quite negative towards Supergirl at first, but then he accepted her at the end. But this leads me to believe that he's still going to keep some Kryptonite or try and find something to take maybe Supergirl down if he ever needs to, seeing as she is clearly the most powerful person in the Arrow verse, in my opinion. Yeah, obviously there's the argument who would win Arrow, Supergirl, 
kind of if Supergirl took on the Flash. But obviously Supergirl and the Flash are so tight, so I can't ever see them two getting into a fight. But what's stopping Supergirl going mental one day and taking out Arrow? So like Batman, he's going to have to have some backup stuff. Uh, personally, I, th I think that Arrow is Batman. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, I'll probably title this something like Green Arrow Goatee Gets Kryptonite Ring to Take Down Supergirl or something along them lines. So I'm recording this on a Thursday at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Uh, it's the 12th of January, just in case I get accused of copying anyone. So let me just clarify it when it was recorded so you can't say anything was edited. You know, guys, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in another video. Goodbye. Peace.